Hey everybody, it's the Walker. So what are we doing today? Well, let's talk about the Nalgene Hobo Reel PSK. Here it is. Let's let's check it out. Um, first thing, we've got it um, all nest inside of a uh, Snow Peak cup has a little uh, sack a little, that's what came with the cup paracord lanyard breakaway I want to be able to use this but I don't want to die using it getting hung up break my wrist or who knows what fishing line if you take a look at this right here this is a little um, I can actually pull a line from it. This is a little uh, thing you get with leader material. It works very good in line management. I just pull it. And I can tighten the line back up without it unspooling. The back of the uh, PSK, by moving this, I can tighten up the back of the line. So it kind of keeps the line from all unraveling. Let's see what's inside. Cup. Mesh, whipped paracord, actually a good amount, go back here you, there we go, fishing line, There we go, that takes care of the line. There. Lanyard. Two buckles. So, it'll pop right off. We got some, uh, Wet fire, some duct tape, two bobbers, Swiss Army knife, one that has uh, two important features that I kind of wanted here. Let's see if I can get them out properly. Um, the saw. And the scissors. And of course, everything else that comes along with a with good Swiss Army knife. The EO1. I've got these in a lot of my kits. A mini strike force. We've got four big um, safety pins. Um, these are very useful, but they can also make uh, eyelets for a fishing pole. I've done that before. A button compass. I have these in several kits. This one has a little... Um, Thing where I can tie it off, make a little neck lanyard or a wrist thing for it. Little waterproof match holder case. These are inexpensive, they're like a dollar. Get them at Walmart. A little ferro rod in there, too. We've tested this out. I'll put a link to the test for that. Whistle. That's loud. 
That's loud. It's really loud. A um, Bic lighter. The Bic lighter is in a plastic bag rolled up, mostly to protect it from having this, the um, gas plunger button hit. So it kind of has like a little bumper on both sides. And plus, the bag is a kit item. An extra battery, lithium battery for the um, EO1. It run, runs forever, but you know, I've got a little room, so I need an extra battery is a good idea. We've got um, four water tabs. These are um, something like each one does 30, like 34 ounces. This is uh, 24 ounces. So I probably have to cut it in half or I'm not giving any recommendations, but you know, there it is. Band-Aids in a sealed pack. Come back here, you. Let me tighten this up again. Anti, um, oh, snelled fishing hooks. These are a really good idea. And the reason being, they don't take a lot of room because they wrap around like this. But it's easier just to tie them. Hooks, sinkers, fishing flies, and two pre-threaded threaded needles with um, duct tape, actually electrical tape muzzles or sheaths on them. So these are pre-threaded needles. I mean, I could barely get this bag open. So I mean, imagine me trying to thread <laughs> thread a needle under stress or in dark. So these are pre-threaded, they're ready to go. I also put these in a lot of my kits. I've actually used them before. And if I drop them like you just saw, this is a lot easier to find than one little needle for sewing. Antibacterial scream, scream Neosporin to go. Tighten the line up. There we are. So let's discuss why I put the various items in the um, Hobo Real Nalgene PSK. Or let's not. I have a better idea. It's always too much talk in these things. Um, I think doing is better. Let's go out. Let's hit these woods with the, with the PSK. Get ourselves a bushcraft meal. I think that'd be better. So, you know, this way you can see firsthand. Or at least that's the hope. Let's pack everything up. Perfect. This will be good. This will allow me to use the kit and yet not have the gear items in there being a distraction. Let's set this thing up for um, fishing. There we go. We'll decide on um, split shots when we get closer to where we want to go. Whoops. Ah, missed the hole there. There we are. There. Little well, case of the fumble fingers. This is a go.
All right, we got ourselves a trout. Looks like a brown. Not easy. We'll do a few more casts. We'll check out another spot. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a rainbow trout. All right, two trout. Look at that. It's a giant, uh, Raven, <laughs> that's a bad sign. We'll, we'll keep our distance from that. Whoa, look at the size of this yellow birch. Man, you're a monster for yellow birch. You got just what I need. Wow. Get enough of this. I think we'll do a one match fire. So basically, and there's a cast, and it casts good. And control the line reel like this. Pool's no good. Let's move on. If I was on a lake, I could do overhand casts, but here I can only do. Um... Well, we got a fish. <laughs> Not what I was hoping for. We definitely got a fish. We could eat it, but we'll let him go. Nope, we lost it. Wait, 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 wait. Well, we got a fish. Question is, do we eat this little fish? Ah, uh, I don't want to. Here's a nice pool. Not sure if we can get to it though. Not jumping rock to rock. Not worth it. Wish I can get the other side though. This side looks nicer. Oh, I can cast the other side though. Look at that. Couldn't have done that any better with a rod. Here's our trout. Gill's gone. 
cleaned out. Let's get going on these. Man, it's good to it's good to be stopping. Um, we covered some serious ground today. We did a, a river, a brook, and a um, stream. I guess river, stream, brook. Yeah, it kind of goes like like that um, in size. One thing I used one tab, and then another tab. So I used two tabs in just one day. Um, Sure, I can boil water, but when I'm on the move, I really didn't have time to stop and boil any water. So I'm gonna have to add some more tabs to it because I only have four in the kit and I'm already, I only have two now. Um, so it's one little addition I realized <laughs> during, during the day. Of course, you covered a lot of ground. I don't know if I'd cover that much ground, you know, norm, yeah, but that's another matter. All right. So what we'll do is we'll get going on the stuff we need to cook up, uh, cook up our dinner. Let's just, let's uh, process up that uh, cooking stick. I want this side here to be sharp. It's gonna stick through the fish. I know I have this flashlight. But I think, because I also have this headlamp, it might be more important that uh, everybody can see what's going on. But this would be definitely the time to employ this flashlight. Here's what we got in the end. The trout, the wild scallion undergrass, yellow birch bark, water. Oh, okay, let's get going on the, uh, in the fire. So what's the secret to the one match fire? Well, video editing, of course. If it doesn't work, I'll just film it again. Now, I actually don't care about that. Um, it's a uh, hydrocarbons or having the proper prep work done before you strike the match. Let's see how it all works out. I think this is going to be one of the um, easier fire starts we've got going here. There we are. Pressure's on. Pressure is on. Whoop. I said one I said one match, not one strike. Big bundle right on top there. But with a little bit so we don't stuff it out. Pretty easy. That's one pro to uh, things like matches and lighters and modern um, firecraft methodologies. Um, it's a lot easier. There's a reason why I left the mouth. Um, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, so put a hole right here. It usually gets um, more brown on one side than the other. We flip around. Now what we'll do, take some of this onion grass. There we are. That's one. Let's get the other one. These, I think, are going to be really, really, really good. Go flat. It won't win any awards, but um, I think they'll work. This right here is the ideal, uh, for me anyways, the ideal situation. We've got some coals. They're heating up the, uh, this is pretty intense heat, but not a lot of open fire, which scorches things. The skin will get scorched on the outside sometimes, but it's not, I don't really care because it just comes right off. And sometimes flames will um, flare up from the fat. When I first put them on, there's still a little bit of flames going. Again, that's not a problem at all. And if should the fish somehow, if I'm moving around, they fall and hit the coals, well, that's not a problem either. We'll let this cook for a while. We also have, um, Little onion appetizers. There we go. There we are. This is done too. I'll try you. Ooh, you're hot. Ooh, that one looks really good. Mmm, excellent. Really good. The Nalgene Hobo Reel PSK definitely did what it was supposed to do. So I guess, um, you know, doing is, is proving, I guess. All right, if you liked what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and y'all have a great night. And um, as always, thank you very much for watching.